Hi everyone, so in this video, I thought I would quickly show you this season 26 starting sets we're going to be getting. So basically, of course, these sets we're going to get for free using, of course, the seasonal journey. So let's get right into it. So, of course, for the Barbarian Hero, actually getting the new Raker build. Now, this build is actually pretty goddamn strong so far on the PTR. So if you're playing a Barbarian, I would definitely be happy you're getting this one. The damage on it is actually pretty good. Now, it's not the best in terms of speed farming. I'm not sure if it's worth it going for like the Waste build early, of course, to do some wind. But getting this early on is a really nice start for Barbarian. And the Crusader is getting the armor of a can. And of course, there's a whole playstyle, of course, with having Aquas Champion active and then you deal increased damage. This is pretty nice because you can just use this six piece here and then just combine that with any kind of items you find. As damage multiplier within it is just a static, increasing your overall damage. So Crusader is going to have a pretty good early season. And the good old Demon Hunter, of course, is getting the Marauder build. So this was, of course, changed here in scene 25 and is actually completely destroying the leaderboards. It wouldn't surprise me if this can be one of the strongest build within the entire season itself. And I expect to see this build do great things. I'm also going to be maining Demon Hunter myself for the entirety of Scene 26, and I look forward to playing this build a lot. But this is not going to be the best build in terms of speed farming. So I mean, the god might be a bit better for you, especially for key farming, but having this early is really nice because it just have so much damage. So Demon Hunter is doing really good for this season as well. And the monk probably has it the easiest out of all of them. You're actually getting the inners set. Now the fire inner was nerfed a little bit here in the PTR for Scene 26, but the water inners is still amazing, especially for low content farming, doing growth farming, T16 farming anything you could basically think of for farming the inner monk is probably the best build in the entire game for farming this so if you want to make a monk at some point during the season it might be a good starter just because they're going to be so strong early game in terms of saving multiple hours because you don't have to make a starter build and then make into another build you can simply start straight away for the inner build which is really really strong for anything farm related and push related with the monk necromancer is going to pistons build which is not a bad build either of course you can play corpse lancer which is actually pretty good for speed farming so I definitely check that one out if you can the witcher is getting sunimasa and this is of course a pet build using poison dart it's a pretty decent build it's not the best for farming you're gonna start a little bit if you're gonna start a witch study you might want to start looking at another build in terms of farming early on and then you can of course also use this Sunimasa later on for pushing but the damage is definitely going to be there it might just be a little bit slow in terms of farming and of course for the last build the wizard getting the dmo build basically this build uses slow time this is not going to be very efficient at all it's not super high damage and it's not very good for farming either of course you can make some other builds like the veer or the firebird which are a lot better but honestly if you're considering starting a wizard this season you might be better off making a monk to start with and then you can use that monk to farm the gear and everything like that to then make the wizard later i think all in all that might save you a bit of time of course if you also want to play a monk but the wizard is probably going to be the worst starter set for this season and of course to complete the entire season journey you also have to complete three conquests this season the first one is here you have to get a 50 million gold gold streak this should not be very difficult with the boom of the harder speed demon of course completing a great at level 10 within two minutes level three gems to level 65 reach deal level 75 and then also the last one reach deal level 55 solo with the full bonuses of six of the following classes which basically means you have to complete six different builds so six different sets you can of course get five of these on your main character but just be aware that the no six piece set will not count you have to complete one of these up here so the conquerors themselves don't look too difficult next season and i'll definitely say that the best classes to make for this season in terms of the starting sets is of course monk at top and then i would say demon hunter and barbarian take a close second place and then it's basically everything else in the reset at the last place so if you want a good season start definitely start with a monk a barbarian or a demon hunter if you of course also want to play those classes but i hope you enjoyed this quick little guide and if you want to see more season 26 guides make sure you watch this video on the screen now and i'll see you in that video peace out one